Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to draw a black cocker spaniel and show you some really simple techniques using soft pastels and pastel pencils. My name's Gemma and I'm the artist behind Portraits by Gemma. For more content just like this please make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell button so you can be notified when new channels are released. So let's get going. So the materials used are the Clairefontaine pastel mat, the pan pastels, I've actually got this set here which is the drawing set which includes tan colours and I find it really useful for a lot of the animal portraits that I've done although I think I will be invested in a few more of the tints that they offer. Um, I use the pit pastels, the polychromos coloured pencils and just a couple of the Caran d'Ache luminance, um, the Pan Pastel Soft Tool, a blending stump, a putty rubber and also the glassine paper for protecting work from smudging. So I've initially sketched out a really rough outline and I'm using the Pan Pastel in black to um, get the initial dark areas of the portrait in. In this instance I'm using the pan pastel it's almost like an eyeshadow brush um, and like an eyeshadow applicator um, it's got kind of a little point on it so it's quite good especially because this is quite small scale um, so I can kind of work it into the smaller areas with a bit more precision than maybe the bigger tool so I'm just going in with the dark areas and plotting those in using the pastel at this point I'm purely using just black and cross-checking the reference photo. You don't want to get hung up on any of the details at the moment because we're just trying to get in the values. So we're trying to work out what are the darkest areas, what are the mid-tones and what are the highlights. So I'm just using the black. If it helps you can actually take your reference photo into Photoshop or other editing software and add a blur to it. This enables you to see the shadows a bit more clearly and not get too hung up on the details. I'm not going to use the pan pastels in the eye area because they are a little bit small on this particular portrait so I will go in later with those um, using the pit pastels which can have a sharper you know edge to them so it will have this sort of ugly stage where things look a little bit strange but you do just persevere with it if you get this underpainting right and accurate with all the values it really really helps when you're then adding in the finer details. I find this especially sort of easy to do when you're kind of doing this underpainting on dogs that have shiny fur because it's then very easy to kind of create that sheen by just working on the highlights and the darker areas. So nearly plotted in all the dark now, I'm just finishing up on the ears, making sure that the darkest areas as dark as they can be. Um, make sure as well that you really do blend out the pastel. We want lots of fine thin layers rather than thick layers that fill the tooth of the paper too early. If we fill the grain of the, or the tooth of the paper too early, it's then very difficult to then apply more layers. So please make sure that you blend in between and really work into the tooth in fine layers. When I used to start pastel drawing, I'd maybe apply it a little bit too thick and then get frustrated when I then tried to go in with the pastels and add the hair detail because the tooth had already been filled. There was very little area to work with. I'm now going in with a kind of a mid-tone, which again is still pan pastel. I think it's the um, one of the greys. And I'm now using the cotton, cotton bud just to blend the two together and soften the edges. As you'll see, under my hand, I have the glassine paper, which just helps to um, stop smudging. 
especially when you're using pastels but it also stops maybe the oils from your hand from going onto the paper as well pastel mat's quite unforgiving if you mark it so you do have to be quite careful in the background um, to make sure that there's not any smudges if you do get a little smudge or a little mark you can use a putty rubber but literally pull it off rather than rubbing it just dab it because it will leave kind of a mark in the background so jumping forward now so that was to show you the underpainting and this is now showing you how I'd apply the pit pastels so as you can see I've kind of gone over the whole dog with small fur line strokes in the direction of the fur again same method as before so putting in the darks first then the mid-tones then the highlights and just concentrating on the direction of the fur and also the length of the fur so if the dog's got longer fur then really going in with those longer strokes so on the ears here you'll see the strokes are a lot longer than they maybe would be on the nose and then filling in dark areas followed by mid-tones and highlights I have got other videos showing you this in more detail that I'll do in real time so please make sure to check those out. This particular portrait is a triple portrait of spaniels so I am going to go into more detail on the others about how I created the ears and exactly kind of the techniques for the um, fur and hair on the, on the ears. Also try not to define the edges of your picture so always leave it very soft. Um, and very kind of thin layers just so you make sure that it's got that fluffy kind of feel to it around the edge. So when I'm kind of near in the end of a section, I will just work my way around the outline, adding in the flyaway hairs and just making sure everything's kind of refined a little bit. Kind of just noticed on the nose area that I needed to add a little bit more shadowing in. So I'm just going back in with the black. Um, the pencils I'm using here are the Faber-Castell Pit Pencil pastel pencils they come in different varieties different um, amounts in the cases um, so yeah if you just you can even you can also buy them on, on their own so if you do run out you don't have to buy like the whole set again which is quite helpful again the tooth of this particular paper the pastel mat um, board is very grainy so you do have to kind of really work in between the layers blending in and building it up so it does take a bit of patience there can be a bit of frustration when you start using it um, but it is it's kind of just persevering with it through those sort of ugly stages at the beginning and just constantly adding thin layers and blending and working like I say dark to light So here is the finished portrait of this black spaniel. As you can see, there's a nice sheen to the fur. It's very soft with all the details in there. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and please give it a go for yourself and try some of the techniques I've showed you. Um, for more content just like this, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell button so you can be notified when new channels are released. Thank you again for watching. See you in the next video.